So uh, it's three o'clock in the morning. I uh, I just climbed out of the tractor. I was gonna go fill up with diesel and put another roll of net wrap in and keep bailing. But uh, so it's it's three o'clock New Mexico time. I've got to be oh. 45 miles down the road to uh, start to cut silage tomorrow at 6 o'clock uh, my time. We, we always start at 7 uh, Texas time, Central time. So I get that nice little time change every time I gotta go do something all day. So we're gonna, I'm gonna run, I was gonna keep bailing but because uh, I, I got past my, my 1 o'clock I might be tired point. Uh, I really, the, I figured the dew would have set by now, but it hadn't. So I just was able to keep pushing through. And yeah, I'll put up quite a few bales. Got 200 on this circle now. So we've, we hit two an acre so far, which we still got some. And really hoping we, we get uh, 300 bales, I don't know, or three bales to the acre, I don't know if we will or not, but I sure, sure hope we do, because our first two circles were just terrible, but, uh, so I'm a, was talking to the, the wife, the wife called me, and I got a, it's, it's 30 minutes to my house, and then it's 45 minutes to Delhart, so, what I'm doing is, just working as long as I can then I'm gonna I'm driving on on to uh, where my cutter is my swather is and I'm going to just I just sleep in my pickup and uh, I was gonna just stay where I currently am but I'm afraid that my alarm I'll just turn my alarm off because I'm real bad about that it'll go off on my phone I'll just turn it off and then they'll be calling me wondering where I am uh, so that way if I do do that, they can just knock on the, on the window of the pickup and wake me up. Uh, now we'll just go from there. But, I'm starting to get, uh, yeah, I'm starting to get tired. Now I could just keep drinking coffee and just power on through it if I wanted to, but that makes tomorrow a real shitty day. And I want to... I want to get to my swather, so I'm I'm tired. I don't I, I don't want to keep drinking coffee because then if I get there and I can't go to sleep, that's even worse. I can, at this point I I can get once I get there I can get about three hours of sleep. Actually I can't even. It's three o'clock now. I've got to start in three hours, so it'll take me 45 minutes to get there. So that'll give me two hours. So I and I need to get up early so I can go to a gas station and you know wash my face and get some breakfast and I'll have to buy a lunch out of a gas station which is always terrible uh, throw it in my cooler I did that the other day I was just nasty just terribly nasty so I get about two hours of sleep and I'll go climb in a swather and cut cut weed all day so that'll be fun uh, but, you know, you want to make your payments, you got to do what it takes to make your payments. Somebody else has to check my cattle for me, because I can't be there to check my cattle. You know, real smart idea. Real, real brilliant idea I have of uh, doing custom work, custom hay work, and custom cutting. Uh, but... Oh, I suppose huh, it'll all be worth it at some point. And I'll, uh, maybe I'll have equipment to sell. It might be worth a little bit, but I uh, like a guy I was talking to about my baler. You know, made, made the comment, you know, with so many bales, it'll be paid off. Well, it'll be worn out by then. And I'll just have to start all over again. So I think the end goal is get it paid off and then you know have something hopefully in good
good enough condition left that I don't have to just run all over the world putting up hay. Uh, and I have oh, shit, decent equipment for my own operation because that's the only way I have to pay for it. So uh, that's that's the end goal. If if I can get somebody to work for me that worth a damn, I'll do that. And I'll, uh, cause that would be, I would, I would just keep doing it cause, uh, but you gotta have someone extremely reliable cause it's not like, oh, I'm gonna go bail hay today and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go bail hay all night long and then I'm gonna know when to stop so it doesn't get dew on it and doesn't burn everything to the ground cause it caught on fire, you know, molded. I just, you know, get if I get a reliable person, uh, that that'd be phenomenal. Cause then, then I could keep, you know, decent equipment. Cause I'd have somebody, somebody grinding through and and running. I don't wouldn't bother me at all to be the person I just bail at night. Cause that means I can still do my cattle work at the day, or I could cut during the day. And they could bail at night, cause then I, you know, I can go home in the afternoon and still, still check on things and do stuff I need to do. But like today, you know, I got up at four this morning and I got out of, crawled out of bed at four thirty, cause I was worn out from the day before. Went and cut hay all day, drove back home, uh, had dinner drove to the baler and it's uh it's three now so i yeah i'm gonna be i'm gonna be very close to a 24 hour day but you know that's that's where that's at that's my decision but, so i guess if you're uh you're watching my videos you know reviewing equipment and stuff like that and you know like man I gotta have this stuff yeah it it's nice it's nice having good new equipment but man you gotta work for it and at least out here in the southwest you know you gotta work at night for it so and I can't sleep during the day to begin with I might be able to sleep till nine o'clock in the morning at the latest Hmm. Yeah. But anyways. That's uh that's how you make the world go around. Sometimes that's when you start like right now is when you really start thinking about is it worth it or would it be worth it to have to just buy used equipment and just know that I can only do my own stuff uh, but you pretty much got to pay for your used equipment in cash or you I mean you got to come up with the money somewhere so it's I hate throwing parts at things just to make them work but at the same point you know if you're gonna spend two three weeks solid doing doing something just to pay for equipment you know that takes takes to do your stuff one or two days maybe that's not worth it but I don't know I'll figure it out one of these days about you know 20 30 years from now so anyways thanks for uh, tuning in As you can see I'm just hauling ass down the road trying to oh, I got another 40 40 plus miles to go but it won't be too bad just throw on some Pandora 